Hello racing fans and welcome to Race Day Preview. 10 races on the card for Sunday, April the 28th, 2024. The feature event is the Temperance Oaks Trophy that will be the 10th and final event on the race card. Please make note that the post time for the first event is 12 noon. 12 noon is the post time for the first event. Welcome to Race Day Preview on Yard B TV. I am Anthony Johnson. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel Yard B TV and please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped you will be notified and please remember to like and share, tell a friend to tell a friend about this YouTube channel Yard B TV, the home of race day preview. The first event, they go six and a half furlongs for three year well and up, optional claiming 400 to 300. Native bred, six year well and up, none is of four, and imported, six year well and up, none is of three, and we have 12 declared. The magic ball should be number three, fairer it is, number six, Joan Strike, number nine, Rowan Caber, and number 11, Prosecco. The winner should come from this group. I'm taking number nine, Rohan Kabir, who has been tuned to the minute by his trainer as Chain Stable, taking orders now from Gary Griffiths to win, to get the better of the dangerous Prosecco, who loves to run well when fresh. Number six, Joan Strike, taking orders now from Well Suter, is my third choice. And my fourth choice is number three, Fero it is who could easily make it two in a row. The winner should come from this quartet. Moving right along, the second event, they go six and a half furlongs for three year one up, optional claiming 250 to 200 native bread, six year one and up, none is of three, and imported six year one up, none is of two, and we have six declared. Number one, China Music showing good form since recently second by four lengths behind kingswood over six and a half furlongs if can reproduces that run on the 30th of march china music will have a fighting chance in this event number two jackson not fancy number three last dance could be the soundest in the lineup please make note the figure eight is off cheek pieces is off this horse has been looking up at exercise keep last dance on the right side the choice of rider mean that last dance strong possibility is doing something that impresses the trainer to call for a radish woman to do duty and based on his condition we can say this horse is one of the soundest horse in this race number four master of all is played with on soundness not the master of all of yesteryear because if the master of all of yesteryear present himself come tomorrow afternoon he will basically bury this field number six art of a lion could be the tactical speed in the lineup and could set off in front and prove very elusive in the stretch but for me i'm taking Number four, master of all, to get the better of number three, last dance, and number one, China, Zik. The third event, they go, six furlong, is restricted allowance four, for native bread, five year one and up, none is of three, and imported five year one and up, none is of two, six declare, they go, six furlongs. We see the welcome return of no more deal. To be partnered by Paul Concha Francis has been working fairly well. Please make note the blinkers is on. No more deal will have a fighting chance here. Has been tuned to the minute by Gresford Smith for his reintroduction to horse racing for the 2024 season. We see this horse showed on the Wednesday, the 17th of the fourth gallop out the gates, showed out the gate five furlong in one minute nine and two fifth of a second, and gallop six furlong in one twenty one two very easily. Has been busy at exercise. We see Tuesday, the second of the fourth, canter nine furlong. Saturday, the sixth of the fourth, canter nine furlong. Based on those exercise report no more deal is coming to run this horse has the back class of being unsaddled in the winner's enclosure come tomorrow afternoon number two wildfire here is the antipose favorite was third by five lengths behind salad and jupiter man jupiter man was four and quarter length in front of wildfire so i i will i i am saying that there's a strong possibility wildfire up now around four kilos or 3.5 kilos may have it difficult to turn the table 
on Jupiter Man come tomorrow afternoon. Number three, Anika Bell, getting the pace of this class, was third by two and a half lengths over the five furlongs straight. The race run by Princess Sylvia on the 9th of March, and based on that run, this horse has a glorious chance of returning to winning form come tomorrow afternoon. Number four, Jupiter Man is very, very fit just now, has been working fairly well for this race. Second on his last two outing could be number one come tomorrow afternoon. Jupiter Man will have a fighting chance. Ava J. Lynn, not the force of yesteryear but could be there about at the business end. There's a strong possibility Ava J. Lynn might be in need of that run. But for me, I'm taking number one. More, no more deal to make. No mistake. Come tomorrow afternoon to get the better of number four, Jupiter Man. My third choice is number three, Anika Bell. Moving right along the fourth event. They go five furlongs straight. Made a special weight for native bread. Three year wool year. And we see nine declare in this event. Number two, Big Pop by Bull Conquest by Girls Talk by Fearless Vision. This horse is bred for speed, has been training very well. Abigail Abel is in the iron. Keep Big Pop on the right side. This horse could make a winning debut. Number three, My Son Shine here was bet down to the tune of four to one. Misses the break on last, and that was that. Fifth by 11 lengths on last. Could turn around the form at any given time here. This horse look as if it might have a difficult in training, but has been pwned for most of the way. So there's a strong possibility this horse could step up at any given time. One second on coming from the Ipora camp of Anthony Nunes here. Keep my sunshine on the right side. Number five, that's Prince Aman. This horse was third, beaten four and a half lengths behind. Commander Z on last and Magnifico. So based on that run here, Prince Aman will be there about at the business end. Finish up the five furlong straight in one minute and one fifth of a second. That I think they will all have to go faster to beat this one minute and one fifth of a second and could boil down to around 59.3 or 59.4. So in order to beat Prince Aman, these horses, they are they they have to run faster than one minute and one fifth of a second come tomorrow afternoon number six sonogram by sensational slam by proud song by double honor this horse is bred for speed we know double honor is very very fast so based on that and the exercise report here this horse on saturday the sixth of the fourth gallop out the straight five furlongs in one minute two and two fifth the first four furlongs in 46 seconds flat this basically this horse has been working exceptionally well we see monday the 22nd of the fourth gallop out the straight four furlongs the first four 47 seconds flat finish up in one minute two and one fifth of a second very easily here so this horse basically bores a hole through the wind in the mornings has been burned on the exercise track and expect to make a winning debut the rest of the line the rest of the field are basically mediocre just for now I'm not fancy in the general here I'm taking number six, Sonogram, to get the better of number five, Prince Aman. My third choice is number three, that's my sunshine. Moving right along to the fifth event, they go five furlong straight. Three year with an up, optional claiming, 550 to 450, six year with an up, then is a four, and we have nine declared. Number one, the out of class, Button Rouge. If the right Button Rouge turn up, this Baton Rouge will basically destroy this opposition. Number two, big man by then, not fancy there, along with number three, Duke of Spring. Basilicus will enjoy the five furlong straight as chain stable since taking orders from Norman Smith. Is that a negative or a positive? Norman Smith is 6 and 0 oh for the season. So, this, based on that, there, the trainer, the, 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 the basically the stable is, is kind of cold right now. So we have to take Basilicus on trust. Number five, True Bravada was an information horse on the last. Finish up lame on last year. And coming out of the straight now, there's a strong possibility as Chain Stable taking order from Donovan Russell. True Bravada could be there. Enjoy the straight. Number six, Magical Moon could be one of the soundest in the lineup. Third by seven lengths, closing mind behind Aphilius on last. 
will be will benefited from that run and should be there about love the five furlong straight may not as chain stay be taking orders from gary griffith's magical moon could be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure come tomorrow afternoon and he's my idea of the winner number seven sniper man has worked very well for before the last his last run finish up fourth nine length making late game seems as if the sniper man could be a dangerous customer come tomorrow Please make note, equipment change and also the, the change of stable. So Sniper Man is coming to run, taking order from Greg Fennell here. Has been working very well on the exercise track. Based on that, his level of soundness and fitness is up. Keep Sniper Man on the right side. Love the trade. Number eight, the love of God taking a drop in class to 550 here. And if the right love of God turn up, basically love of God will win this event. Number nine, for the meter year, first run since February the 14th year. Finishes lame on February the 14th. This for the meter is very fast and love to run well when fresh. Keep Keep for the meter on the right side but for me i'm taking number six magical mood to get the better of number eight the love of god my third choice is number seven that's sniper man and my fourth choice is number nine fauna or meter moving right along the sixth event they go seven furlong restricted allowance for five for native bread four year one and up none of two and imported four year and up maiden and we have seven in 14 declare i should say seven furlongs the journey number one edgecraft misses the break on last and that was that has been tuned to the minute by the trainer we see this horse is busy on the exercise track keep edgecraft on the right side number two always right not fancy but will run good a good race without actually winning number three empress links was beaten out of it by a head by captain philipson last Empress Link is very fit and will enjoy every inch of this seven furlongs. Number four, Bid Strike was a runaway winner in 132.4. We'll have to giddy up to win this race come tomorrow afternoon. Number eight, Princess Talisa run a good race. Very encouraging over nine furlongs and 25 yard. Won't have a trouble getting the trip of seven furlong. Keep Princess Talisa, who seems to be running into decent form on the right side. Number nine, Watermelon John came down into the race, leaving the seven sixteenth. Hold on last and we, I think is running to decent form getting group into fine form I should say and watermelon waterman John must be kept on the right side now looking up based on form where form is concerned four by six length behind great commander last cosmic force was second in that event number six number ten Miss Linton and number 11 Spark is not fancy. Bad investment could easily make it two in a row. This horse will enjoy this trip of seven furlong. Keep bad investment on the right side. Number 13 Money Box Yard. Money Box. This horse is um, not showing the form. We know Money Box, Box can show. And based on what I'm seeing, Money Box, I'm not fancy in Money Box. Box. This, is a half, this is a half to calculus. Something must be going on with this horse money box. He could be the flying the ointment come tomorrow. We have to treat this horse with some form of, of respect because we know he has the potential and can turn up at any given day. So keep this horse on the right side. Money box, keep this horse on the right side. Make sure whatever you do, make sure money box is on your ticket come tomorrow afternoon. This horse is getting fit is sneakily getting very fit just now and this horse gallop out the shoot in eight furlongs 154 and two that's a good work looking up keep money box on the right side number 14 cosmic four second by a length and a quarter and three quarter behind gray command over six and a half furlong was an easy winner over seven furlong 131 three cosmic force will have a fighting chance in this event it's a tricky event a wide open event but I'm taking number three, Empress Link, to get the better of number one. That's Edgecraft. My third choice is number 14, Cosmic Force. And my fourth choice is number 12, Bad Investment. Moving right along to the seventh event, Restricted Allowance 2 for Native Bread, 3 year olds known as of 2 imported 3 year old maiden. And here we have 6 declare. Won't waste much time on this race. Number three, Fearless Attack will win this race and move on to better things. Fearless Attack is my choice to get the better of number one, Battle Angel, the easiest exactor of the day. That is the exactor of the day. Fearless Attack, Battle Angel. To complete the trifecta, 
is the Troy number two global machine. Moving right along, the eighth event. They go five furlongs straight, restricted allowance four for native bread, four year one and up, runners of three, and imported four year one and up, runners of two, division one, ten declare. Number one, KD Strong, no devices on this horse, has potential of winning this type of race. Why, Wicked Strong out of a Windsor Castle Mare, coming to five furlongs straight here, could be the doctor's orders. Number two, Noble Attitude is getting fitter and fitter with each run. And based on what I'm seeing, keep Noble Attitude on the right side by Noble Bird out of Share Attitude by Clever Trick. This US import could be anything. So keep this horse on the right side. Not fancying Golden Syrup, who is up in class. Yeah, Mrs. Linder is not fancy. Also, number six, Babala. Yeah, was out sped and last. Yeah, no oasis jack around, so Babla could be there bouncing on the headline. Keep Babla on the right side. Number seven, fly blue jet. Enjoy the shoot. Tevin Foster is in the iron. If the speed collapse, look no further than fly blue jet. Ella Fortunado is groping to find form. Four by five lengths behind Emperor of the Cap. Power ranking and posing already. That is a good run. Yeah, keep Ella Fortunado on the right side. Number nine. From Sher to Ben will no doubt be the Antipo's favorite. Somewhat of a disappointment in his last two races here. But enjoy this trade. Keep from Sher to Ben on the right side. Number 10, the information house, Uncle Nob. Information is out that this Uncle Nob has been looking up and has eaten out very well here. And he's the information house. The information house, Uncle Nob, could be the spoiler come tomorrow afternoon. And I'm taking number 10, my outsider of the day. Number 10, Uncle Nob, to create an upset. To get the better of number nine from Sher to Ben, my third choice is number seven, Fly Blue Jet, and my fourth choice is number two, Noble Attitude. Keep Noble Attitude on the right side. The ninth event, the penultimate event, here, they go five furlongs straight, restricted allowance four for native bread, four year one and up, nuns of three, and imported four year one and up, nuns of two, division two, nine declare. Number one, Savvy Girl will be come running on. Keep Savvy Girl on the right side. Number two, James Love the Straight was second by a neck behind California Goal in 59-3. James will have a fighting chance in this event. Number three, Burning Valor will enjoy the straight here. Keep Burning Valor on the right side as Chain Stay will take in order from Greg Fennell. Tevin Foster in the saddle. That is a positive sign. Burning Valor will, could be there about at the business end. Digital Light, not fancy. Speedy Air is very fit just now. Keep Speedy Air on the right side could set off in front and prove very elusive number seven bazinga will no doubt be there about at the business and has been working fairly well for this event keep bazinga on the right side he will be very difficult to beat number eight wayne sprinters not fancied against steel by number nine bulletproof cafe one over the straight and last was fought by eight lengths coming six furlong bulletproof cafe will run a good race come tomorrow afternoon but number seven bazinga get to get is my choice to get the better of number nine bulletproof cafe my third choice is number five that's speed air we expect to run a good race and number three burning valor keep number two james on the right side james love the five furlongs straight moving right along the tenth and final event, the Temperance Oak Trophy, restricted overnight allowance for three year well and up. We have eleven declare number one inspired force has been trained for this event, coming to four five furlong straight on his last two outing. Keep those race as exercise gallop. Inspire Force, I think, could run a good race come tomorrow afternoon. We'll enjoy the six and a half furlongs. Number three, another information house. Information is out that Brinks will be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure when the smoke is clear come tomorrow afternoon. So Brinks is the information house. Keep Brinks on the right side. Number five, Power is groping to find form. Not fancying Power here. Number six, All for Love is improving and is working very well. Keep All for Love on the right side. Champion Bubbler is getting his act together here. Champion Bubbler could be thereabout at the business end. Second by a neck to volatility 
20 over the 5 furlongs tray won't have a problem getting six and a half furlongs we see on the 19th of july was third by a lunch and three quarter by a green goal rush and power ranking so based on that run champion bubble will have a glorious chance number eight milas here run some luster race here based on his tactical speed he could set off in front and be a dangerous ah, con a dangerous contender come tomorrow afternoon number nine get a pepsi 57 kilo the horse they will all have to beat while number 10 sunset silhouette was in receipt of a was well, in receipt of a very bad ride on last year could turn around the form come tomorrow afternoon tevin foster in the saddle keep sunset silhouette on the right side it's a wide open event i'm taking my chances here in this event with the information horse number three brings to create a mild upset to get the better of number nine get a pepsi number 10 sunset silhouette and my fourth choice number seven champion bubbler so there we have it racing fans race day preview a look at the running of the 10 race card come tomorrow afternoon please remember mandatory payout on the first pick five come tomorrow afternoon and please remember now to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, YRB TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. And please remember to like and share this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in to YRB TV. I am Anthony Johnson. Best of luck and happy hunting.